children in this video you will learn about certain parts of the digestive system now the digestive system in humans start from our mouth what is the mouth the mouth is bordered by the upper and the lower lips when we speak or when we put the food inside our mouth there are two jaws in our mouth the lower jaw can only move but the upper jaw is fixed the lips are present on these two jaws so the movement of the lips help in closing the mouth or opening the mouth or even help during the swallowing of the food also and while speaking also inside our mouth there are a set of teeth and the tongue which is present when you put the food inside the mouth we call it as ingestion here in this figure you can see that this is your whole mouth there are two pairs of jaws the upper jaw and the lower jaw this lower jaw is movable two sets of lips are also there but inside your mouth you have two sets of teeth one in the upper jaw and one set in the lower jaw you have the tongue which is present inside your mouth the epiglottis which is farther inside the mouth you have the soft cheek inner linings the teeth are embedded in the gums there are soft and hard palate which is present inside now what is this palate just behind the teeth you can see or feel that there is a hard roof portion inside the mouth that is the hard palate and when you go more inside your mouth near the epiglottis it becomes soft that is the soft palate now there are set of teeth which is present inside our mouth now what is the function of the teeth now based on the different shapes and functions the human teeth are divided into four kinds the first are the incisors the four front teeth at the middle of each jaw that is the four teeth which are present over here on top and the four teeth which are present in the lower jaw so they form the incisors they are known as the incisors they are chisel shaped and they help in biting and cutting off food just beside the incisors we have the canines there are four canines which are present in our jaw that is two on each jaw these canines are used for tearing the food as they are a little pointed beside the canines on both the sides in the upper jaw as well as the lower jaw we have the premolars now these premolars and at the further end we have the molars these premolars and the molars they help in crushing and grinding the food that is when you are putting a bite of chapati or a spoonful of rice inside your mouth you just cannot gulp it down you have to chew that food so the premolars and the molars help in grinding the spoonful of rice or the bite of chapati inside your mouth and the tongue along with the teeth help in mixing up the food with the saliva now let us study about the tongue and the salivary gland what is the tongue it is a fleshy muscular organ now this tongue helps in tasting the food 
mixing the saliva with the food, manipulating the food throughout your mouth and also in speaking. So this tongue which is present inside your mouth, it is a little thick but because it can move around, it can perform certain functions. First of all, there are taste buds which are present on the tongue. As you can see in this figure that all the taste buds are present in different positions. These taste buds help in tasting the food. That is, if you put a spoonful of sugar into your mouth, it will taste as sweet. Or if you try to put a pinch of salt inside your mouth, it will taste as salty. Even you can understand the hotness and the coldness of certain liquids or objects also. Now this tongue, it helps in tasting the food as well as in mixing the saliva with the food. That is, when you are chewing the food, now the tongue helps in the movement of the food from one corner of the mouth to the other corner and it also helps the food to get mixed with the saliva which is present inside your mouth. Even when you are trying to swallow the food, the tongue helps to push the food down inside the food pipe. The tongue also helps in cleaning the teeth. That is, after you eat your food, sometimes bits of food are present inside your teeth if you do not wash your mouth properly. The tongue helps in moving or removing these bits of food which are present inside your teeth. And the tongue also helps in speaking. That is, we are able to speak different languages or make different sounds with the help of the tongue only. The salivary glands. What are the salivary glands? You must have noticed that inside your mouth there is always a watery fluid which is present. This is the saliva which is secreted by three pairs of salivary glands which is present inside your mouth. As you can see the position of the salivary glands over here. One set is present underneath your tongue. Then you have at the base of the ear and the third is present on the inner side of the lower jaw. Now the saliva which is secreted by these glands they are watery, that is it consists of water, certain salts and a slimy mucus. Now this saliva also contains an enzyme called the amylase. This enzyme amylase is responsible for converting starch into maltose. That is when you are chewing a piece of bread, after a certain time you will see that your mouth starts tasting a little sweet. It is because the amylase which is present inside the saliva acts upon the bread which is a carbohydrate that is starch and converts it into a simpler carbohydrate which is sugar and as such it starts to taste sweet. Now. The saliva has certain functions. It moistens and lubricates the mouth cavity. It cleans the mouth and binds the food particles. Let us study about the esophagus and the stomach. What is the esophagus? The esophagus is a long narrow tube which runs from the mouth to the stomach. The food moves down the esophagus by peristalsis. Look at this figure. You can see that the mouth is opening over here. Now when you have chewed the food and you are swallowing it, it enters into the food pipe. So this food pipe is the esophagus which connects the mouth to the stomach. Now as you can see in this figure that the food is moving in a wave like motion. This wave like motion is known as peristalsis. 
So peristalsis is a wave-like movement seen in the walls of the food pipe due to contraction and the relaxation of the muscles which are present in the esophagus. So you are able to swallow the food only because of peristalsis because that pushes the food inside the esophagus that is the contraction and the relaxation of the muscles of the esophagus helps in the wave like movement and as such the food is pushed inside the food pipe to the stomach. Now what is the stomach? The stomach is an elastic bag which contains the gastric glands which secretes the gastric juice. Now in this figure as you can understand that this sac like structure is the stomach. Now this stomach is muscular and it has some space inside that is it helps in storing the food. Now the stomach secretes certain gastric juice that is certain gastric glands which are present inside the stomach they give out or secrete the gastric juice. This gastric juice consists of water, HCl that is hydrochloric acid and an enzyme pepsin. So the gastric juice consists of water, hydrochloric acid and the enzyme pepsin. Now what is the function of the acid over here? Since the stomach is sac like and it stores the food, so this acid helps in killing the germs which may enter into the body with the food and as such it prevents in rotting of the food when it is inside your stomach. Now the enzyme pepsin which is present in the stomach that is the gastric juice it converts the proteins into a simpler compound called the peptones. So the enzyme pepsin helps in converting proteins into simpler forms of protein that is the peptones. The protein casein which is present in milk you all drink milk now there is a protein casein which is present in milk which is converted into curd with the help of another enzyme the renin. It is also present inside the stomach but in very less amount. Now the food which is remaining inside the stomach for 3 to 4 hours is protected by the hydrochloric acid so that the germs do not cause any sort of harm. Now when the food is present inside the stomach it churns the food that is the stomach helps in churning the food upside down and mixing it with the gastric juices. So when the stomach is churning the food inside and mixing it with the digestive juices a pulp like thick paste is formed which is called the chyme. Now this chyme is then pushed inside the small intestine. So children we will learn about the small intestine in our next video. But here you have learnt about the esophagus and the stomach.